Want to move on to the Afghan qualifiers and uh, the sport? I mean, people are out playing. There were some surprises, and we can just have some of those uh, results up there, um, so that we can see uh, how the other teams performed. Um, over and above, of course, Harambe Stars. Um, Ambani, who who do you like in Africa? <laughs> Over and above the Harambe stars, yes. who we, uh, of course, we are, we are still. What lessons can we learn from the teams that at least were in action? And you can see the select results and how they fared. Uh, what, what, what lessons can we learn from these, these teams that are able to get to AFCON? What is it that they have that we don't? Uh, I, I don't think there's, there's so much space for those teams that uh, they have that we, we don't have. We just have. It's, it's just that we, are not, we have not put our house in order. Mm -hmm. Okay? I think when, once we put our house in order, um, we'll be there. I'm trying to imagine some years back. Uh, when I started maybe uh, playing serious football, we only had one professional player uh, out of the country. That was um, Mike Okoth, yeah? Yeah. And then later on, Moso Tiano went to South Africa. And then from there, things started opening, OK? So at the moment, when you see the national team right now, we have galaxy of stars outside there. The guys are outside there. So many players are outside there. We just need to put ours right in order, make sure that whoever is being called to the national team deserves to be the national team. We should not be having questions as to why this was selected. No, we, it, on merit. Once you get players in the national team on merit, we'll be there. Uh, Guinea-Bissau surprised the Super Eagles mm -hmm. uh, in, in Nigeria. One, one nil. Yes. Liberia just came from two goals down. I watched that match. A excellent match uh, with South Africa. Yeah? Uh, they, they looked beaten, but at the end of the day, it just, just changed up the game. And at the end of the day, they, they drew. Yeah, they believed in themselves. So we just need to believe in these players, get the right players, so that when you get the squad, nobody will question. I remember sometimes, uh, some ages back, the national team used to be named. Nobody used to raise any question because you used to see, oh, fine, this one deserves. This real national team, even if they are beaten, you are 100% sure, no. We, we, we put our first, uh, the best horses up. Right. So those are some of the things that uh, we should be looking at mm. as a team, as a nation. Yes, sir, uh, Well. <coughs> Soccer is a, is a process, it's not an event. A good example is Tanzania. Who thought that Tanzania could beat Uganda in Kampala? Look at the Tanzanian league. It starts with your league. Yeah. The moment you have a competitive league, yes. it will reflect into the national team. Mm. Tanzania, look at their league for the last two or three years. Simba Yanga dominance is there, it's still there, but they've, 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 they've moved the game to the next level. Look at the kind of players that are, cu are currently playing in the Tanzanian league. Players who are being paid more than a million uh, shillings uh, uh, for their salary. Uh, they receive close to five million uh, shillings, Kenya shillings, uh, for their endorsements uh, when they are they're signing for clubs. So the moment you, you get it right in your top league, uh, the national team things will just roll. And what, would, what is getting it right? Getting it right is first of all, when whatever you receive as a federation, you must, you must account for it. Uh, there's no way you'll receive 10 shillings and you don't want anybody to ask you any question about the 10 shillings you received. Yes. Currently, Tanzania, the team that is getting the least in the league is 20 million Kenyan shillings. The kind of sponsorship that is in the Tanzanian league is superb because they account for each and every coin uh, that gets into, into that league. The other day, um, FIFA president was in Tanzania. FIFA president doesn't go to a country where the federation cannot account for the money that they're given, even with uh, FIFA. Mm -hmm. So basically, when you, what I mean, uh, just to, 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 to echo uh, my, my, my sentiments when I'm saying uh, get it right, you must be accountable. The moment you become accountable, people, uh, corporates will be attracted into that league. Look at the kind of, for example, KCB, there's, a, I think, a year or so, they were putting a lot of money in the Tanzanian league. Ask yourself, okay, other than the, um, uh, the marketing strategy for the bank, ask yourself why they're putting their money in there. 
It's because when I give you 10 shillings, give me how you spend the 10 shillings. And then it will move down to the players. They will get better uh, remuneration. And once they get better remuneration, the standards will go up. More players will be attracted into that league. These days, Kenya Premier League does not attack, attract top players in this region. Mm. We had the, 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 uh, the various players who are big players in this region, in Tanzania, Rwanda, and Uganda, running for Kenya. But now they're all running to Tanzania. And uh, just to say that it is not a fluke that Tanzania won against Uganda. And if we don't look, uh, if that group, uh, Uganda doesn't up their game, Tanzania will qualify once again for AFCON. And the moment you qualify for an AFCON, you should be, your target should be qualifying for the subsequent, at least two subsequent AFCONs so that it becomes part of you. So once again, transparency, and accountability is key in the game. All right. Well, uh, one today you want to break the record here and stop when Ibra tells us to stop for now. So we'll stop there uh, because Ibra has called. I mean, I mean, kipenge chamisho kame kame lay up. Of course, for those who watched uh, the qualifiers, we just have maybe you can have just the the results the, for the Euro uh, uh, qualifiers as well, just as they as, as we talk and, and wrap up. But we'd like to say thank you so much for watching. Now, we are going to be, well, I don't know how it's going to be, but uh, a lot is happening today <laughs> in this country. But uh, we'd like to say a big thank you to uh, Ambani for coming. And indeed, once uh, it's officially launched, we'd like to kind of dig in mm. to exactly what uh, the talent handler uh, sports committee is all about and how it's going to, what structures are going to be put in place and, and what Arocha and even yourself says, we just have to get it right. Yes. We need to quantify and qualify what the getting right is. But and you saw your Guinea-Bissau beat Nigeria yes. right at the August doorstep. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to say thank you so much for, for making time for us. We do appreciate your time as well. Thank and you. thank you to the, to the panel. Uh, and so keep it Citizen Television across uh, the day and also on Citizen Digital for more news updates. For now, though, uh, we make way for the repeat. Peace and love.